Hello everybody, welcome back to another video. And in this video, I'm gonna be showing you everything that's been changed, fixed, and added in Minecraft Snapshot 22W17A. And if you like my videos like this one, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft 1.90 videos and other Minecraft videos. And so first of all, yes, I don't have my skin. Uh, that's just a weird bug in this snapshot, so you're gonna have to deal with Alex here for a little bit. But let's just get into the additions of snapshot 22w17a. The most major addition to this snapshot is a new item. That was already in Minecraft Burger Edition for a very long time. And that is the goat horn. Not just one goat horn, no eight goat horns. Right here. Did I get all of those? I think so, no. There we go. I think I have all of them now. And so yes, this video is a live stream at the same time as well. So there is no editing in this video. But let's see what these goat horns are. So of course the goat horn is a drop from the goat mob. That makes a whole lot of sense. And the goat will drop one of these if it rams any type of solid block. Well, not any type of solid block actually. It will only uh, drop from the goat if uh, it rams either logs, stone, packed ice, iron ore, copper ore, or emerald ore. And that is because, for example, in the... What is it called? The Locate Biome Mountains. Can we specify goat? No. Okay. Cold? No. Let's just go over to a... Stony Peaks biome, that makes sense, I think. Because this is, of course, where the ghosts will let us spawn naturally. And these are the blocks that will spawn in these biomes. Logs, stone, packed ice, iron ore, copper ore, and uh, emerald ore. And so it also mentions on the patch notes that other solid blocks are unfamiliar to the goat, and so it won't ram them at all. Like a village here as well. Yeah, so here we should be able to see some goats. We'll summon in some extra ones here as well. And, uh, well, we can use, of course, the goat horn to make some beautiful sounds, which we'll get into in a second. And... I think... Yes, here we go. Goats can also just spawn with a single horn, like this goat over here. And there's another one right here. And so, of course, if they ram a block, they will also lose one of their horns. Maybe we should summon in a couple of zombies to see if they will uh, spawn on them. Also, that seems to be definitely a bug. That's a little bit of a weird bug down there, but okay. Yeah, so I in better condition, I haven't gotten the goats to ram blocks just yet. So I haven't seen the, the goat horn drop at all there. I could try this here, but since this is a live stream, I don't want to bore you with just a whole lot of nothing. So let's actually get into what these goat horns sound like. That's more important. So four of these will actually be able to drop from the normal goats, and the other four come from the screaming goats. And I do believe these are the four from the screaming goats, and these are the four from the normal goats, but I could be wrong there. But let's just listen to these sounds. So first of all, we have Ponder, which sounds a little bit something like uh, this. That's very quiet. Can we turn that up, maybe? Which one would that be? This one? Oh, it takes a very long time for it to cool down. That's a little bit sad. That's quiet again. See, this is the problem when you do it with a stream. I suppose we can play... Sound horn. Ah, there we go. And put it on the master. That should be a little bit lo louder, I hope. So we can do this and put it at our coordinates and add the volume like that. It's still just as quiet. All right. Well, let's go through them like this then. So that is a uh, ponder. Then let's move over to the next one, which is sing. I will try one thing though, to make this a little bit louder. Give me one second. All right, there we go. And now let's try the second one, which is Sing. Okay, that is Sing. I don't like that it's such a long uh, countdown. 
or cooldown, there we go. So that is Sing. Next up is Seek, which sounds like this. Let's actually use a command instead, faster. There we go, that's the original one. That was also in the, the first one to be added into better condition. Then next is feel, which sounds like this. Right, a very low sound there. Then for the screaming goat horns, we have first of all admire. Okay, that sounds quite weird. Next up is call. Okay, <laughs> beautiful. This one is called Dream. And finally, there is Yearn. No, that's not Yearn. This one is Yearn. Let's try that again. Wait for the cooldown. And there we go. Okay, so yeah, those are the eight goat horns added into the game. I just want to mention that the copper horn that was re that was previously added into a bedrock beta or preview as well will not be added into 1.19. They removed those from the preview as well and so they won't be added in the next update. But these goat horns will be added into Minecraft 1.19. Alright, then next, um, let's see. And so of course you can use the horn to play a sound uh, that can be heard from far away. So even though it's not that loud where you're at, you can hear it from very far away in your world. And these goat horns will also be able to found in the pillager outpost. So if we go over to a pillager outpost, there's of course a chest on top of the pillager outpost. And so they can spawn with a goat horn in that chest. Let's see if you're lucky in this one. Yes, so there is the seek goat horn in this pillager outpost chest right there. Alright, so that's it for the additions in this snapshot. Next, let's move on to the changes. So, first of all, there are some changes to the LA. So, let's go into those. So, let's grab an LA and let's grab a note block. Because previously, in the snapshots for Java edition, there was actually no particle signaling that the LA had chosen a note block. But that is apparently now added. So, let's see that. So, let's grab a LA. Uh, let's give it a goat horn, why not? And let's play the note, and now we go. Now we see a particle moving from the note block over to DLA if you play it next to DLA. And then, of course, if you throw some goat horns down, DLA will pick them up and throw them at the note block. Uh, then, next, DLA connecting with note blocks can now be blocked by wool blocks again. Alright, so I guess if you place wool around a note block, it won't be able to connect to an LA. I suppose that's how that works. Like this, if there's an LA right here, we give it like a block and we play this note block. It won't get connected to that LA. Let's see. It will throw the blocks at me, please. Yes, instead of at the note blocks, that's how that works. Um, let's see, next there are just a couple of technical changes which I don't think they are too important. There's like a little texture fix to the brewing stand base apparently, which, let's see, do we see anything different there? Well, not really. And then there are also some changes to the warden. Yes, the warden. So... They will now, the warden will now actually bypass shields and armor with its ranged attack. So its ranged attack got buffed a whole lot there. But it also got nerfed in the other way because it only deals 10 damage instead of 30 now. But again, it has been buffed because the cooldown has been reduced from 5 seconds to 2 seconds. So yeah, let me give myself some resistance. Uh, resistance, no that's regeneration, that's not the right one, resistance, like this, and let's summon in the warden, alright, now let's go into survival mode, and attack the warden a couple of times, 
we'll see its range attack here, which will now do 10 damage instead of 30, and will now bypass armor and shields. And we can see that it attacks way faster with this attack now. It only takes 2 seconds to cool down and get charged back up. So, yeah, the Warden is a whole lot more scary now. And, yeah, that's also the intention of my Mojang. They want the Warden to be pretty much unkillable. And I think they've pretty much done that in this update. Let's grab some uh, armor. Or, no, not armor. There we go. So, let's grab some Netherite armor. Why not? And then also a shield to see how this will work. All right, full Netherite armor and a shield. Now let's remove our resistance and try to attack the Warden again to see what happens there. So let's clear our effects. Clear. And go back into survival. And once we die we'll also see that there's a new... Uh. Okay, he's angry. There's a new death message related to the Warden. Let's try to block the range attack. Hello? Range attack! Please! I'm scared. No. Come on. Oh, and there we go. Look at that. We tried to block with the shield, but it instantly kills us. And this is the new death message for the Warden. Max Manifier was obliterated by a sonically charged streak whilst trying to escape the Warden. And so it's pretty much this in initial part, right? Was obliterated by a sonically charged shriek. And let's also check its uh, death message if it just kills us with the melee attack. If that has changed as well. No, that is just was slain by Warden. Alright. Then next up, there are a couple of technical changes in this snapshot as well. There we go. Now we can see stuff again. So, first of all, we have a signed chat. Which is a little bit weird. So... This is a, a multiplayer, multiplayer secured chat signing. This is the first step in the process to provide more security and player safety features for in-game chat. We'd love to hear your thoughts, but keep in mind that many features uh, such as server-driven stylings of chat messages are still missing. And so this means that chat messages between players are now uh, cryptographically signed, all right? And you're giving, uh, you're, you are given a Mojang-provided key pair on startup. That's a bit weird, I didn't receive a key here, so that might be if you join a server. And so hopefully this will make uh, messaging in Minecraft in in-game chat a whole lot more safer in the future. And then of course a whole lot of bug fixes as well. A lot of them have to do with textures and just Z-fighting in general and th those kinds of issues. So it's always nice to see those fixed. There's echt just really lots of different texture fixes that were just some inconsistencies in the game. And of course there are also a couple of fixes related to the latest snapshots. With some uh, crashes, some errors and those kinds of stuff. And especially one we experienced a whole lot during the stream. Where the world crashes if there are too many aquatic mobs or flying mobs loaded at the same time. But if you want to read through all of those I'll leave the patch notes in the description down below. But anyway, there we go, that's everything that's been added in Minecraft Snapshot 22W17A. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, then please make sure you leave a like and subscribe to the channel for more Minecraft 1.9 videos and other Minecraft videos. I want to thank my tier 3 members, the Smickelaar and March. Thank you so much for becoming tier 3 members. If you also become a member, click the blue join button below the video to check out the different tiers. But there we go, I hope you all enjoyed this episode in the next one, so until then... Mm, bye bye